In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to show you how you can import Microsoft PowerPoint elements into your video presentation. Let's assume that you're familiar with some slides you'd like to use that were created in PowerPoint or perhaps an entire presentation. What are some ways in which you can incorporate that into CyberLink PowerDirector? Well, let's assume we're creating a short training for prospective parents of high school graduates. We want to show them what it's going to take to get ready for that big day. And so we have some resources we have or have received that we'd like to use that are part of a Microsoft PowerPoint presentation. The first thing I want to do is I want to pull some things in. Let me go to PowerPoint and I'm using PowerPoint 2016 here. And I have a short presentation with about eight or nine slides and I have an introduction and then I have a segment about food, a segment about decorations and a segment about things not to forget. Now when we click on the slideshow tab at the top and I click on from beginning you'll see a bit about this. In this case this presentation is not timed, it's set manually so every time I press a space bar I either move forward to another slide or move forward to another bullet. So I press the space bar once, I'm on slide two about food, I press it again, and now I have barbecue, potatoes, and all the other bullets I have animated that come from the right to the left to show me that particular slide. And then we're going to get to number three, and this time the animation is there, but it's different. It's a simple fade in, one bullet after another, as I go from top to bottom. And then the last one I have is the third one called Don't Forget. And this looks the same, but it's actually structured differently. And I'll show you why in a moment. So let's assume, I'll back out of that presentation view, that we want to use the entire presentation. We like the whole thing, we like the visuals, we like the timing, we like how the animations are set up, and we want to use everything in this presentation as is in our video project. You can actually export from Microsoft PowerPoint to an MP4 video. All I need to do to make that happen is click on the file menu at the very top and then I click on the export option on the left side and then I click on create a video. Now I can control the resolution depending on my version of PowerPoint. Right now my maximum on version 16 here is 1920 by 1080. I'll select that and then all I do is click on create video. It wants to know where to put it and what to call it. We'll just call it graduation. Press enter and now it's recording it as a video. In this case it's using the defaults in terms of transition times but if you look at the very bottom you're going to see a slider that moves from left to right as it processes the video. Once the video is done, the slider disappears and go back into CyberLink PowerDirector. In order to import the video, I do it from my media room. I like the shortcut key, Control Q. And now I'm going to navigate to the place where I stored my video. It's called Graduation. I'll double click on it and pull it right into my copy of PowerDirector. I'm going to take the video and drag it down and drop it on my track here. And now we can play it. Now one thing we'll notice as we play the video is that we have no control over changing the pacing of the animation if we have any. Again you'll see the bullets pop in from right to left and then you'll see the other ones fade in and so it goes. We can do other things if we want to. We could, for, exa for example, put a title on top of it. We could put a visual on top of it. We could do a transition in and out of the video. Let's assume that instead of using the whole video though, we'd like to just use some of the slides. How can you import some of it and use them? And what are the limitations? Well, we're going to do that by simply using my control Q in my media room and now I can actually import the PowerPoint presentation. If I click on it, it will pull it in and notice what it did. I'm going to click to my graphics image only option to view. It took every single slide in PowerPoint and brought them in as a static graphic image. I'll click on the first one 
and hold shift, click on the last one, and we'll drag them down to the timeline. And now what I have here, I'm going to change the duration of all of those. They're, they're eight seconds. We'll change it to uh, three. And now when we play this, we're going to see that we have something that looks like the original presentation. However, we lost all of our animation. Every slide is a static slide. Now there is a way around that. Let me show you what I've done here. I'm going to back up and watch the next couple slides. We have one here where we have one bullet and then another bullet. And then after three seconds, a third one and a fourth one. Now we're not retaining the bullets and the animation from PowerPoint, but I designed it to work this way. Let me show you what I did. I'll stop that and we'll go back to our copy of PowerPoint. And let me show you an easy way to do that if you're going to export it to CyberLink PowerDirector. If I look down here, what I have in the last few slides is each slide is a duplicate of the previous one with one line added. And the easy way to do that in PowerPoint, let's say we want to add one more, I'll right click and I'll click on the option that says duplicate slide. Then I go to the last line and say pay for it all. And I can repeat this process as much as I want. Right click, duplicate slide, take a vacation yourself. What this does is this gives you a sequence of slides that you can use so that you can fake animation if you import this into CyberLink PowerDirector. I'm going to go back to PowerDirector and show you another thing you can do that's cool. I'm going to go into my transition room and let's take uh, the fade transition. I'm going to drag it between some of these segments, just a couple to show you here. Let's go back a slide or so and play it. Okay, so when I look, go this way with it, I'm able to make it look like I am modifying and changing the animation in PowerDirector. So if you want a little more control over animation and you knowing you're going to get a static slide, this is a way to design them and incorporate them so the final result is what you want. And of course, we can take any of these slides and we can add on more text on the layered on the top as a title. We can add another graphic. Let's say I want to enhance this by adding a movie on top of one of my slides. All I need to do is take a video from my media room and drag it down and drop it. And we'll simply resize this and move it around. And now we have the ability to modify that by layering a movie on top of my video to make it a little more special in CyberLink PowerDirector.